Hey, what's up? My name is Sylvan, and this is my 2008 Chevy Silverado 1500 converted to 3500. The wheels are 26 inch America Force Evos, wrapped in 255, 30, 26. The truck has front tubs, rear tubs, fifth wheel and a custom molded bin. This is the second truck that Reckless Suspension Works has built for me. The truck rides really smooth. People ask what was my motivation to this build. Honestly, I just wanted something different that I could drive and enjoy. Thanks to Reckless and his crew for building my single cap dually, aka my baby dually. Alright, so this is the beginning stages of our baby dually project. It's already been extended, these fiberglass fenders added to it. We didn't do that, but just kind of emphasizing on the baby dually part. We are going to be putting dually wheels, dually rear end. And dually front suspension is going to be on a coilover setup. This is the bed, just with the rear tubs tacked in. Still has a lot of work. So this is the back. After removing the bed, it already has the knots. We're going to redo it to clear for the dually wheels. And we're going to be installing our wishbone coilover setup. So that means leaf springs, lowering block, flip kit, all that stuff's going to be removed. All right, and with the help of TV Magic. The fuel tank, rear end, leaf springs, all that funny business has been removed. So, show you what we got. Fuel tank goes in here, in this area. That's gonna get moved up a little bit. The drive shaft was already notched previously before, that's gonna come off. This front mount where the shock was at is gonna come off. Then our wishbone suspension is gonna go there, mounted in that little outline there. So, we are having to re-notch it. So we're gonna be redoing the notch on it and cleaning all this stuff in the back. This is the part that nobody really cares to see, but we're just showing you. And I'm just trying to make the video as short as possible. Just removing all this stuff, also removing this pipe here, there, and then that has the rear upper shock mount. That's gonna get removed as well. So we're gonna paint all this, make it look all nice and pretty. This is just that part of the transformation that like I mentioned, nobody really likes to see. We gotta put some reinforcements on the frame as well so it doesn't flex when we remove the notch and then we'll be installing our new notch on there shortly. All right, so this is the progress so far on the Baby Dooley project. All the suspension out, everything. And also the notch, like I mentioned earlier, with this new frame rail that's being installed. That's the passenger side. Driver side has just been cut out and capped and friendly reminder of what was there before that was the notch before so that whole entire section of the frame rail was removed the reason it needed to be removed as a section was to narrow the frame Let's show y'all over here now the frame has been sucked in narrowed however you want to call it to allow for the big wheels especially the dually wheels pretty wide show you that a little bit later this is the progress so far in the frame. It's looking really nice, coming together. A lot of work to be honest with you to set all this up. This is, like I mentioned before, the ugly part, how many people care about, but it's all in the process of making it look right, be structurally sound, real supportive, and can handle all the power and the weight. That we Finish up the rear tub work, notch cover. And we also added this cool feature for it. It's not gonna be towing, but being that it is a small baby dually, that's going to look really neat. Customers planning to paint or undercoat the bed, so hopefully we can have it all finished up before we finish the project. Also has the fuel cell. A couple of things have changed since we last were doing the video. We are actually going to be doing air suspension on it, not the coilovers, as I mentioned earlier. And he is going to need a fuel cell. 
fuel cell because the wishbone suspension will end up hitting the factory gas tank. So with the fuel cell, it allows us to not have that issue and also run a four link suspension instead of the wishbone, which we'll be showing you in a little bit as well. So now we're moving along with the mock-up of the suspension. We're doing air suspension on this dually project. This is the upper mount here, lower mount down here, connected with our shock extender with our R logo. Here's a mock-up shock to kind of give you an idea how that shock's gonna look. Real simple, real clean. Everything's just tacked in as you can see. So we still gotta fully weld it, assemble, cycle it, check it, all that good boring stuff to make sure everything's working correctly. We went ahead with uh, four link. This is why it's called the four link. You have one link, two links, then on this side as well, three and four down there with the track bar, which is that guy here. So four link with a track bar. Should be able to handle all the power. This truck has a really nice sound. It's cammed out, really nice. Has a little bit of power, so the four link should have no problem handling that power or anything like that. So our tank, tank here. We're gonna be doing some compressor mounts Accurate manifold to make this thing go up and down. Sorry about that if you don't hear, we got other work going on in the shop. So accurate manifold to make it go up and Fast down. Fast forward a couple of steps, and now we are here, getting close to the finish line. Went ahead and mock up the wheels for the front. Wheels for the back. Beautiful 26 inch American Force with reckless suspension kit and all the fixings. Real nice truck coming together. We talked about our lines, AccuWare, custom built drive shaft, beautiful wheels. Still needs a lot of details that we're gonna be addressing here shortly. But we're moving along with this build. Looking really nice. Showing you a little bit underneath picture. That's the spacer, excuse me, adapter, dually adapter. And that's the tubs inside with the new frame rails and the tub work. So this is inside the bed. It looks real neat, real nice, real clean. Like I mentioned, it's going over to paint. And we also have to make sure that we paint the, um, the frame rails. And you can see the fuel cell down there as well that we have to do the mounting points for that as well. Moving forward a couple of more steps, we went ahead and um, touched up some of the frame paint. Now, if you look at our front kit video that we're gonna be posting, we tell you to clean the entire frame so you can paint it. Real nice detail, especially this truck being black, so that stands out real nice, looks real clean. And we went ahead and also did our front shrouds as well. That guy right there. So closes up everything, you can't see anything, and that's exactly what we want. No wires, no back of the fog lights, none of that stuff. Everything cleaned up very nice, very well. Showing very you a couple of different angles of the vehicle. This is the front end. As y'all guys know that have been following our channel, seeing our other videos, we went ahead and did our tubs, front tub kit, relocation kit, intake, battery, water reservoir with our hood struts. So the hood opens and closes. No need for a hood prop or anything like that. Really nice, real clean. Clean in the sense of how it looks, obviously not clean in the way of the truck is, because as you can see, that's really dirty. So we're gonna have this thing detailed. Make it look really nice. This is the bed that I was promising you all to give you an update on. So we, as y'all saw earlier in the video, we did the tubs, doghouse or notch cover. And we went ahead and took it to our buddies down here at Drastic Changes in Houston. They did the color match because the bedside was a uh, fiberglass. So they had to be extended. Those got painted. And then they did a bed liner for the inside of the bed. Came out real nice. Pictures don't even, video or whatever, don't even give it justice. It's a little dirty, but I uh, just want to show you how it's coming along. Can't wait to put this on the Baby Dooley project and see how it all looks together. 
just an extra piece to the puzzle. Okay, so we went ahead and put it up on our lift. Just wanted to show you some of the detail. We have the fuel cell with our logo. It's part of the fuel cell brace. We also have our logo on the lower shock mounts. And this, of course, is the bags. Lower mount for the bags. Four link suspension. We talked about that earlier. And also our track bar. And I know I mentioned earlier in the video about our compressors and Acura. So this is all nice and clean, real neat. We wire loom all of our wires, tape them, everything. Make it look real nice, look like factory. Like just the factory option installed on there. So real neat underneath the video, excuse me, underneath the vehicle. So it's real clean, real nice. It's a lot easier to show you guys once it's up on the lift than trying to get all underneath there and whatnot. Okay, so the front suspension, I know I showed you earlier the, the shrouds and all that good stuff. So it's coming to look, coming along. We still got a couple more details, but also eight lug to 10 lug. I know we posted a couple of pictures on Instagram. People were asking if it was a 1500 converted with adapters or what. And it is adapters, but it's adapters from eight lug to 10 lug to make the dually conversion work. It does have upper lower control arms that have narrowed the track width a little bit. I know some people were asking about that. So I try to provide you with as much information as I can However, do keep in mind, we actually have several projects going on in our shop right now. And we're doing video pretty much on all of them. So make sure y'all like and subscribe so y'all can be up to date with those builds. Beautiful builds that y'all get to see. We don't mind showing y'all the work. And we try to provide as much information as possible. But we do apologize sometimes. You know, we do forget some stuff. If you have questions about this build or any build, you know, make sure y'all just ask us on the video. And we'll try to answer that for you. Real nice truck. 2010 if I'm mistaken the year this this truck is and then we converted everything over to make it work so it came out real nice can't wait to show you all the finished product